Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode, and in this video, I'm very excited to be showing you the new Rodecaster Pro firmware version 1.2.0, including an exciting new update to the Rodecaster Pro companion software. Now, version 1.2.0 of the Rodecaster Pro firmware enables multi-track recording to micro SD directly on board the Rodecaster Pro. For specific details on how the multi-track to micro SD card recording works, check out the link in the video description below. On this video, I'll be taking you through the feature set of the Rodecaster Pro Companion app. When recording in multi-channel mode, the Rodecaster Pro will record both the main stereo mix as well as each of the individual sources connected to the Rodecaster Pro directly to the micro SD card as a polywave file. Now, not all audio workstation software will support the polywave file format that the Rodecaster Pro records to micro SD card. And you may even find polywave files a little awkward or difficult to deal with, especially if your recording has been split over multiple files due to the file size limits of that format. So to help with this, we've introduced a really handy new feature into the updated Rodecaster Pro companion app for PC and Mac that can really help you out. To access this new feature, take the microSD card out of the Rodecaster Pro and plug it into your computer. Then start up the companion app. Once you've got the companion app booted up with your microSD card plugged into your computer, you can then select the podcasts listing on the top menu. And from here, you can see all of the individual podcasts recorded onto your microSD card. The app will also tell you if they are stereo or multi-channel recordings. From here, you can also rename your podcasts and give them different color codes to help you identify which podcast is which. To transfer the recordings to your PC or Mac, simply click on one of the podcasts and click the Save button. Your computer will then prompt you for a file location to save the podcast to. Once you've selected a suitable folder or location, click on OK. For my podcast, I'm going to create a new folder directly on the desktop called Ryan's Podcast. Once I've created that folder, I can just click on the open button and now it's directly downloading the podcast from the micro SD card. If the podcast was recorded in stereo mode, the companion app will transfer the file to your computer, naming it according to the name that you gave it in the app. If the podcast was recorded in multi-channel mode, the companion app will split out each individual track into its own WAV file, mono files for each of the four mic channels, and stereo files for the TRRS, Bluetooth, USB, and SoundPad channels. The app will also join together any long recordings that have been split into multiple PolyWAV files. This makes for a very easy way to access the individual tracks from your podcast, allowing you to add each track into your digital audio workstation software without the hassle of multiple PolyWave files. Thanks everyone, and happy podcasting.